sort of a relationship question, but not really. <laughs> well, we've already discussed that everything is. Everything is this a relationship. Is, this is a little different. When people, they meet and wrote, they're romantically in love and there's all this wonderful, you know, I love you and this wonderful feeling of, you know, being with the other and appreciating the other and can't wait till the other calls and can't wait till you see them again. And then the relationship progresses and you still love that person, but it's a, the feeling is gone. That wonderful beginning feeling is gone. What ha where did that go? Well, it can come back. Where it went, it went the way of resistance. And so let's talk about that. In the beginning, two, let's just talk about two people coming together. And let's talk about where they often are in the scenario that you described. So two people coming together believing that what they're seeing in the other is what they've been looking for. So they've spent some time in their life flowing stuff into their vibrational escrow and we like this scenario that we began to describe earlier. So you've contributed to your vibrational escrow, the other one has contributed to vibrational escrow and out there is a vibrational escrow that matches both of you. And while you're out there on your way to what you've, you've been asking for, neither one of you are aware that the other one is on the way. You're only aware that you're on the way, but broader perspective can see you on the way and the other one on the way and you on the way and the other one on the way. And knowing that somewhere down there there's going to be a convergence of a stream and so all of a sudden there you both are and the manifestation occurs where you see each other. Now depending upon how tuned in, tapped in, turned on you are, if you are really in alignment with who you are and you meet, all your bells and whistles are going to go off because you are seeing someone who is the physical embodiment of what you've been asking for. In other words, that's what that feeling of exhilaration is. So now you come together and, and you experience that coming together, that, that exhilaration of that. But now what most people are leaving out of the equation is, so you've come together and that phase of your creation has manifested. But since there is no ending to any relationship and no ending to any creation, now the two of you are walking together and hand in hand, so to speak, you are flowing your stuff into your future vibrational escrow. So the question is, if two of you are moving together and you are appreciating and acknowledging value and enjoying one another's experience, you are continuing to launch into your vibration less grow more and more and you are continuing to grow together. But let's say that everything isn't exactly as you thought it would be. You don't have as much time to yourself as you used to, so you're launching that into vibrational escrow. You have different habits of the way you like to keep your tidiness of things around or whatever. There, you have different food choices. So let's say that as in almost every relationship, there are things about it that are not exactly a vibrational match. So now each of you are creating another vibrational escrow. And the question is, is the vibrational escrow that you're creating going to be one that when your sources call you toward it again, you show up at the same place? Or is the new, ooh, isn't this good? Or is the new vibrational escrow that you're creating going to bring somebody else to fulfill that new intention? And, and, and what difference does it make? Is the thing that, because most of you want to say, oh, I want to join hands with that one and that's the one I want to walk through eternity with. And we say, no, it isn't. <laughs> In other words, you want to continue to be and let law of attraction bring to you that which is a vibrational match to that which you are becoming, you see. So, is it possible to find someone and to have life experience cause you to continue to evolve and have that person be the one who is sat satisfying your desires forevermore? 
Yes, it absolutely is. But what goes wrong in relationships is in the, in the beginning, what goes right in the beginning is that you are looking for positive aspects because there is so much that is unknown. So it's easier for you to imagine things as you want them to be so you stay truer to the desires that you've been looking forward to in the manifestation of this relationship. Once you meet someone, the likelihood is that you're going to look at what is instead of staying fixated on how you'd like it to be. And so by by finding the flaw rather than the thing that you appreciate, you become separated from your own desire. And this is the thing that we really want to say about this relationship thing as you're moving through time. It isn't that, the, that your life is causing you to grow apart and therefore your current lover is not your long-term likely lover. It isn't that at all. It's that you get separated from your own idea of what you want in a relationship, most of you, because you look at the complaining things that you've got instead of holding to the ideas of what you are wanting. Every relationship would not only maintain but continue to evolve. It is possible to come together with someone and evolve with them and continue to reap fabulous joy from a relationship if hopefully both, but if even one of you is deliberately turning downstream on a regular basis. And what causes a relationship to deteriorate so that you wonder where the magic went is that one or the other, and usually both, are looking more upstream than they are downstream. They're having more conversations about what is, and in doing so, they've lost sight of that which has become. And you see, here's another really big factor. We're so glad that you asked the question. Here's the biggest factor. So your life experience caused you to th throw a lot into your vibrational escrow. And Source had a very clear picture of what you're looking for in a relationship and calls you, calls you, calls you toward it. So you follow your bliss and you show up there and so does your partner and you have rockets go off. You know this is the one for me and it feels so good. But what you have to continue to factor in is that you're not done evolving. You're, you're not done still having experience and you're not done becoming. And so when the magic goes out of a relationship, it's not that something's gone wrong in the relationship, it's that the magic has gone out of you. It's that something about this relationship is keeping you apart from who you have become. It isn't, it, it is never that something has gone wrong with the other. That's why, that's why, as we've been talking all day today, we know we've said it over and over again, but it's such an important thing to get, that your life causes you to become something. And if you don't let yourself become it, you're not going to be happy, and you're going to blame it on your lover. In other words, you're evolving, and if you don't keep up to speed, then you say to the other, you don't bring me flowers anymore. You say to the other, you don't make me feel the way I once felt. And we say, of course, someone might be a catalyst that makes you feel good, but don't hold them responsible for how you feel. If you can stay tuned in, tapped in, turned on, you will always have someone significant right there pleasing you. That's why we say, if you're not selfish enough to connect with who you are, then you don't have anything to give anyone. And if you're saying to anyone, I don't feel the way I felt about you before, it's not because that one is doing something wrong or changing. It's that something in the dynamics of what you're asking for and something in the dynamics of the direction you're pointed has got you out of